This video is an After Effects tutorial. So sit back relax and grab a slice of pizza. Welcome back to the channel Anime Themes. Today we're going to create this. So, let us begin, first let's find our files for our project. Open up File Explorer. And make sure you have a wallpaper, and music file. This is all you would need for the tutorial. If you select, and hover over the music file, you will see the duration of the song below. Make sure to remember this, because this would be the length of your video. As you can see, my song is 26 seconds. Now let's head into After Effects to get started. First start by creating a new composition. Mines would be called 3D Spec. If you want you can name it whatever you like. I'll be using the 1920 by 1080p resolution at 30 frames per second to make it more cinematic. Set your duration to however long your song would be. Mine's is 26 seconds. And hit OK. Now turn on background. If it's white, hit this button to make your background layer appear. Now let's start by creating a new solid layer. To do so, right click on your mouse to see new. Then click solid. The name will be white. And then set color to white. And hit OK. Leave the resolution to the default settings. Then hit the OK button. Now, let's head over to the effects and presets. And type in audio spectrum. And drag it onto your white solid layer. Nice. Now, let's change a few settings. Select start point and set it to 0. Then end point to 1920. Nice. This will cause the audio spectrum to fit the composition. Now head back to the effects and presets. And type in polar coordinates. Then drag and drop onto your white layer. Nice. Now let's go back to the effects control tab. Now set interpolation to 100%. And change conversion to rect to polar. Great. Let's head to projects. And import our files into the composition. Take your music file and drag onto timeline. Then place it below the white layer. After this right click and hit pre-compose. We will name it music. Then hit the OK button. Now select the white layer. And head back to the effects control tab. And let's change a few settings. Change inside and outside color to white. Now we can change audio layer to the music comp. Set end frequency to 350. This will all depend on what type of music you have. Now find somewhere on the timeline that you can see the audio reacting to the music. As you can see it is not reacting evenly. Let's fix this. Go to the effects and presets. And type in mirror. This will make the audio spectrum react evenly. Now drop it onto your white layer. 
then change reflection center to 960. This will make the audio layer react evenly. Nice. Now change side options to side B. This looks way better. Now let's make it into the RGB glitch colors. Now change maximum height value to 900. And set duration to 170. Then set softness to 100%. As you can see the spectrum is looking better. Now let's give it a glow effect. Head back to effects and presets. And type in glow. And drag onto the white layer. Now this is where it becomes tricky. So listen carefully. Select the white layer and hold Ctrl D to duplicate it. Now take the top white layer and put it below. Then go back to the effects and control tab. And change inside and outside color to red. Now right click on the second white layer. And rename it red. This will help you remember what colors are the layers. Alright now for the tricky part. Every layer from now on. You are going to change the value of height to 50 more than it was. And the duration to 10 less than it was previously. Duplicate the red layer. And place red 2 below. And change inside and outside color to blue. Then rename red 2. Blue. Do this one more time and duplicate the blue layer. And rename it green. And change inside and outside color to green. These are the value for red, blue, and green. Nice. Now we are going to do this three more times. So hold control and select the red, blue and green layers and duplicate it. And place them below. As you saw all the height values went up by 50. And the duration went down by 10. You can do this how many times you want depending on what type of audio spectrum you want. I only duplicated the red, blue and green layers three times. Because. I don't want the spread to be huge. Great. Now I'm going to fast forward this part. And show you all of the values and put it on screen. Awesome. Now let's turn this to a 3D layer. First right click and select new. Then hit camera. Then hit the OK button. And place above all layers. If you're not seeing this cube icon. On your columns section. Press F4 and it should show up. Nice. Now select the cube icon on all layers. Except for music. Now you should be able to make it 3D, if you click C on your keyboard. 
If that doesn't work head up to the tools bar and hit the video icon. Now move the spectrum to however you want it. Awesome. It's time to make the spectrum rotate. Head back down to the timeline and right click. Select new and make new null object. Then place it above all layers. We are going to name this null object, Rotation. Then make it 3D by hitting the cube icon. Now hit R on your keyboard, to open the Z rotation. Nice. So now we need to set a keyframe on the Z rotation. To do so, hold the ALT button, and click left on your mouse on this stopwatch icon. And type in time. Star. 50 in the expression box. Hit anywhere on the screen to confirm. Now, select all layers except camera and music. Grab this pick whip and drag to rotation. This will make all the layers rotate and spin on the Z rotation. Very good guys. Now we are done with the audio spectrum. Let's pre-compose our layers to head to the final step. Hold control, and select all layers on the timeline. Then right click and pre-compose. And I'll name this 3D spec. Then hit the OK button. Great. Now, make sure and turn off this button. This will make your background transparent. Nice. Let's head back to the project tab. And let's drag our wallpaper onto the timeline. Make sure to place wallpaper below our 3D comp. If not you wouldn't be able to see it. If you would like to make the spectrum bigger or smaller. Hit S. On your keyboard to open up scale. Then. Once you've done that. Hit P. To move your spectrum wherever you like. If you're not satisfied with the position of the spectrum, don't worry. You can always go back and change it. Here's how to do so. Double click on 3D spec, and all the layers will show up. Then hit C, to move the spectrum to how you want it. Keep this in mind. This will change the position in the main composition. Great. Now that you have your spectrum the way you like, let's make it a dynamic video. By placing it behind our character, select the wallpaper, and create a duplicate. Now, head to the toolbar, and select the pen tool. We are going to create a mask over where we want the spectrum to go behind. Let's zoom into the wallpaper, this will let us see what we are doing much better. Or go to the toolbar and click this hand icon. This will allow you to move your image freely. Then you can press G to apply the pen tool back after fixing where you want to start. If the spectrum is getting in the way of things, head to the timeline and hit this I button. This will allow you to hide the spectrum until you're done with the mask. Awesome. Now use pen tool and mask out where you want your spectrum to go behind. After doing this, you can turn back on this eye button, to see the spectrum once more. Join the end point to the start point to complete the mask. Fantastic. Place the duplicate file above all the layers to see this effect. Then hit this button and select fit, to make the composition big again. And now for the last part, 
Select all layers and pre-compose. Then hit OK. And this is how it should look. Awesome. That's it guys thank you for watching my first After Effects tutorial. Stay safe and keep watching anime. See you in the next one.